Hello YouTubers, here we are going to talk about the new analog electrical connectivity sensor meter from DF Robot. Um, for a little bit of history, a few years ago they had a first version of it which was great and worked only on 5 volt uh, microcontrollers. And what they've done here is that they've released a version 2 which is uh, very good because they've got automatic calibration uh, which is easier to use uh, it's also more precise and it works with 5 volts and 3.3 volt main control boards now the thing is it works with boards like that Arduinos but you will encounter issues if you want to use it with ESP such as ESP32 and what we've done uh, in order to solve that problem is that we've uh, tried to come up with a solution and uh, to make it work uh, we are using an ESP32 such as this board I can show you maybe uh, the board we're using this kind of board and we are using it with an external ADC controller it's called ADS115 from Adafruit a circuit like this one you will find all the links in the video's description and here is the, the issue you, you can try to use it with the ESP32 dev board alone but the ADC converter on this board is not accurate enough to uh, give good results so what you need to do is to have a little board that <coughs> takes care of the ADC for the ESP32 and what's great with this board it already has a library that works perfectly and that you can easily use so what we've done is that we've adapted the DF robot code uh, to the ESP32 and we've put it on GitHub, so you will need an Arduino IDE, of course, and now you will need to take this code. So you got to search for our company, it's called Greenponic. FY, we make uh, connected devices for gardening, which are great, you should check out our website. And here you click on this one, ESPEC by Greenponic. Here is the library you will have to use with Arduino. So you click on Cloud or Download, you download it, it downloads a zip that you have to open, and here you will have all the files uh, needed to do the job. So now you have to open the folder, uh, which is your library's folder for Arduino. Uh, so to, to find it, you've got to go into your Arduino preferences and you will see uh, where it is on your computer basically this is the folder where you have so your sketches so this is mine, I've got multiple sketches and here you can, in your sketches folder you've got your library folder, you go in it and here you can put uh, your downloaded library like this, simple so now I will open Arduino IDE there it is now we have to open our sketch so oops sorry for that click on file examples and you will try to find ours which is DF robot ESP EC by Greenponic example and you click on the example here is your code here is what you need now we I will show you how you have to plug everything up uh, to set it up before you will upload the code. So you've got your box, analog electrical connectivity sensor. Congratulations! And what was in that box? You've got the circuits, you've got your sensor, uh, you've got two calibration solutions because you will have a calibration on two points. Um, and you will need few extra things to make it work. You will need a um, cleaning solution. For me, it, it's only water right, right here. Quick disclaimer, uh, don't hesitate to use double face tape. It's really good because it holds the bottle on your desk and it avoids um, catastrophes when you put the sensor in and the solution gets spilled everywhere. It's a mess. 
<clears throat> so that's the DF robot part and you will need other parts as well so of course you will need an ESP32 you'll need this, you'll need some DuPont cables you will need the ADC converter like this one it's beautiful and you will need a breadboard okay so um, what I can do is to zoom oops sorry zoom in just a little bit so that you can see where I hook things up uh, so let's let's do it first the SP32 uh, you have to uh, plug several things on this you got to plug your plus and minus because that's where your current will come from you will also have to plug uh, which one can I take this one for example so now you will have to plug your ESP32 uh, with your ADS uh, 1115 so that means you will have to link the two with the I2C bus and how do you do that? You take the two wires and you've got your SCL on the pin 22 and you've got your SDA on pin 21 so you put two little wires on the ESP32 side now you take the plus and the minus from your ESP32 and plug it in the breadboard on the power rail you add your ADS anywhere you want on the breadboard and you will give it power so you link the plus rail to VCC the minus to ground What you do now is to uh, put the, a wire between ADDR, which is the address port, to minus, so that the code knows it's still on the same address, which is, about, if I remember well, uh, 0x48. I think so. Uh, you will have to double check that if you want. And now uh, you will plug your DF robot circuit so the plus on the plus and the minus on the minus and you plug this on your power rail like that and now you will have to put the third wire on the data pin and on the other side you will put it on the analog input of your ADS in this case it will be A0, analog 0. And now we will just uh, plug the, the wire uh, of the I2C lines. So the first one, SCL to SCL and SDA to SDA. And that's it. Now everything is supposed to work, uh, we just have to, to plug the sensor on the electroconductivity circuit and give some power to all that to see if it works as intended. So I plug it in, a little light, ESP is on and the circuits also have current so now we have to go through the next step which is real calibration so we go back on the code side of things so back to Arduino the ESP is hooked up to the circuit through the ADC converter we've got our example so now we have to upload it on the ESP important thing you check on tools boards and be sure you have the right board and you have the right port com um, selected because if you don't you will have a very nasty error that's it done uploading 
we can upload, open the serial monitor uh, and we see that it reads BLE0. That's normal because the probe is still in his little enclosure. So what you do, you open it. Now it's clean already, uh, but you have to clean it each time you change uh, the solution you will use. So um, first I will put it in the first solution, which is 1.3 millisiemens. And on our screen it reads 1.17, let it stabilize a little bit, it's okay. And now we have to enter the commands to go through the calibration process. So we enter first, enter EC, it goes through calibration mode. When the reading is stable, as it is, 1.17 multiple times, it's, you have to put cal EC, oh, come on, error, cal EC, yeah, <laughs> that's better. And then you see now it's been calibrated to 1.413, which is the value you get on your solution, which is good. So now you enter exit EC, and your first point has been calibrated. So now what you have to do is to clean your sensor. Be careful to be very gentle with it because it's fragile. So I clean it into water. So right, I use a very high-tech tissue to dry it. Very important point, uh, be sure never to touch those plates right here. See that? Never touch it. So if you've got uh, a drop, like in there, you put the tissue, take the drop, that's it, no more. And then you can put it in the other solution, which is 12.88 milli Siemens. Now on our screen, it writes 9.69, 9.7, which is quite far, but it's not a problem for the code. So here we go again for the silicon calibration point. So enter EC. blah blah blah, put it in the solution, cal EC, okay, so now we see it's calibrated to 12.88, which is what you want, if it's all good, you type exit EC, and now everything is registered into the ESP's EPROM, so if you use it later for other tests, uh, it will keep those calibration values. Now we can do a double check to see if we come back to the original solution, if it works. Again, you clean it. Important point, no solution, you can use those accurately only once. Because when you put something in it, you spoil it and the readings won't be accurate after that. It's clean. Is there a drop? Yes, there is. <laughs> Back to 1.413. And what we are reading here is 1.39, which is not far at all from the value of this solution. So that's it. You've got your two-point two calibration. It works with an ESP uh, with the extra help of the ADS1115 um, from Adafruit. Uh, if you got any comments, uh, you can contact us and we will reply to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to support us, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you got any question, you can write them in the comment section. You can also visit our website and social networks to get the latest news. See you next time. Bye.